Wait a minute. The skull. Get it. Damn it. This isn't the last you'll hear from me. Hey, boys. Wait for me. with some shots. Ah, uh, uh, here's the darn thing. They'll never take it away from me now that I'm so, uh, so close. So close to what? To the Taltec treasure. Oh, look at this skull. It's pure gold. There are another two just like it. Is it really gold? Haven't you ever heard of them? Oh, uh, come on, uh, give it back. Haven't I ever heard of who? Of the three skulls for crying out loud. No, not until now. Don't you want to be rich? Who wouldn't? We could make a fortune by selling these skulls. I see you lack vision. The skulls are worthless compared to the lost Altec treasure. They are the key to finding the treasure. So where are the other two skulls? Not far away. One of them is nearby. In a monastery, under the protection of a brother Anselmo. The other is protected by the Apache. Be careful, especially with a so-called LeConte character. He's the one who sent One-Eyed Dixon and his fellows to rob me. LeConte is the colonel in charge of Fort Apache. There seem to be a lot of people involved. It's been years since the three skulls have been so close together. There's never been so much interest in them. I could find the missing skulls. If you could cut me in somehow. Oh, I've had quite a few partners. But they've all died from indigestion. I am a peddler. I have a fabulous hair lotion and a great elixir. Maybe you should have a drink in order to recover. Oh, that's a good idea. Hand me a bottle, will you? Is it working? Dim wit! Oh, you've given me the hair lotion! <sighs> well, you did ask me for a bottle. I didn't know it was the wrong one. Well, I'd better get out of here before those guys come back. Better not forget the skull, though. Boys, get the skull. He doesn't need it anymore. Look. Dex, it's pure gold. Let's see. Hand it over. Uh-uh, I found it first. And I'm the boss. Hand that over. How much will the gold payers for that? A lot. He says that it's of great sentimental value to him. <laughs> It looks like that old peddler's wagon. Darn that man. Let's see. Oh dear. They'll have to be careful. They stole the skull from this idiot. 
They also killed him, Brother Anselmo. Don't bore me with insignificant details, Brother Fatty. And don't start with the professional ethics stuff, either. All I'm saying is that somebody should bury this man. Christian charity is always required to some degree. Don't you understand that we have no time for that? I'm in no hurry. You're never in a hurry, brother. Except when the dinner bell rings. Brother Anselmo, don't even mention food. Oh, sorry, I forgot about your abstinence from food, Bob. Let's drop these discussions. Now we must... Bury this poor sinner. No. We will first look for the skull that was stolen from him. And then... Then we will bury the peddler? I think we should do that first. All right, Brother Fatty. Bury him. I'll wait for you in Big Town. All Brother Anselmo thinks about are those skulls. They will be our ruin. Oh, well, I suppose I'd better start digging. Hi! What's the matter, brother? What's a nice monk like you doing with a pickaxe like that? I am giving a Christian burial to that corpse. May God take him to his bosom. To which order do you belong? I belong to the Order of the Capuchins. Where is Friar Anselmo gone? He's gone to Big Town. He wants to deposit a relic at the bank. Doesn't it seem strange to you, depositing relics at the bank? Well, it's only a bone from St. Auriferous. Where is your monastery? Not very far, but we have been expelled. Who's expelled you from your monastery? The French. Why have the French expelled you? They say we support General Lardbelly. Who is General Lardbelly? He's a very famous revolutionary. They say he's afraid of no one. And he is cruel and merciless. The French have been chasing him for months, but he keeps eluding them. Maybe General Lardbelly is hidden in the monastery dressed as a monk. That is absolutely impossible. Is it that difficult to infiltrate into the Order of the Capuchins? There! We all know each other. It would be impossible for an intruder to get between the two of us. Friar Anselmo and I know each other very well. I'm going, brother. God be with you, brother. Yep, I can see it. Now what? It'd be better in the shade. Yep, I can see it. Now what?
Scotty. Bonjour, mon ami. I sure would like to go in, please. I would like to let you in, monsieur. But unfortunately, it is forbidden. This place has been taken over by the troops of his most magnificent majesty, Emperor Maximilien of Mexico. Why have they taken over the monastery? It was a heaven for revolutionary scum. Apparently, General Lardbelly used this place as a hideout. Have they found General Lardbelly in the monastery? No. And we've searched everywhere for him. Sergeant Motte said he saw him escaping dressed as a monk. But nobody believed him because he was drunk. Mm, that tobacco has the most delightful aroma. Yes, indeed. It's the smoothest tobacco I have ever smoked. I sure would like to try tobacco that smooth. I can recommend a couple of places where they sell very good tobacco in the Rue Patatin and in the Boulevard Patatin, Paris. I bet the tobacco from the Rue Patatin is the best. Yes, the best is from the Rue Patatin. Here, try it and you'll see. Gee, thanks very much. But don't smoke here, s'il vous plaît. We are not allowed to smoke with strangers. This is this is the lightest tobacco with only point zero 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 one milligrams of nicotine and tar. I can't use them together. This is the lightest tobacco with only point zero 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 one milligrams of nicotine and tar. Yep, I can see it. Now what? They're not listening. Let's just leave it where it is. Why do that? Bonjour, mon ami. I think this sleepy Mexican is a revolutionary. Of course he is. I've heard this fellow muttering in his sleep. Viva Juarez! I'm sure the sleepy Mexican is a spy. No, mon dieu. How can he be a spy if he spends all his time asleep? Okay. See you soon. Au revoir, mon ami. It's a parking sign. I'd better not. I've often wondered, during times of fleeting thought, who actually invented the wheel? It's full of twisted screws. Dang, there's only one that's any good. I could use this to fix something. That's not gonna work. Um, this isn't working. The rolling Arizona plains sweeping herds of buffalo, the occasional 7-Eleven convenience store, and ride-by shootings. It's a parking sign. I 
That better not. There's not a lot of wind. There's somebody down there. Hello? Hello? It's a rusty handle. It must be full of water. Hold a lot of water. I want to keep it for now. Howdy. A very wide ranging library. Are you deaf? Is there anybody in there? Hello, young man. When is the next train due? I understand, but don't worry. Just go around to the back of the station. When is the next train due? The next train? When the signal turns green and I get a telegraphed order. I want to send a telegram. That's cheeky. You shouldn't say things like that. That's disgusting. I want to send a telegram. No, sir. I refuse to telegraph rude messages. I'll change the text. Okay. Don't shout. I'm not that deaf. Dear Mother, colon, I've won a fortune. Stop. Send me a couple of dollars. Stop. Your loving son. Stop. I didn't know you were a representative of Rothschild's bank. I'll send your telegram to the head office in New York. Who are you in communication with by telegraph? Of course, there isn't time to wait for anything else. I knew it immediately. It was obvious. Naturally, you could see it coming, and I almost... I asked who you were telegraphing all the time. Ah, well, I'm playing chess with the train driver in Fort Apache. Do you mind if I leave? 
Of course, my boy, you can stay as long as you like. Looks okay to me. It doesn't work. I'm looking at something inside. Wow, I love a good cookie to dunk in my milk. Mm, exquisite. It's sugar. Howdy. Can I be of service? My name is Fenimore Fillmore. I'm Bobby the shopkeeper. I was just looking. If all apples were like that, there would have been no original sin. It doesn't look too fresh. They don't look much like carrots. Hey, come to this counter. Hello, what do you want? I'm looking for a guy named of Friar Anselmo. Friar Anselmo from the Twisted Tower? The one who has a gold skull? Yeah, yeah, he's my big brother. Well, well, I thought your face looked familiar. Say hello for me, will you? His golden skull is quite safe here, you know. Has he told you about the gold skulls? No, we only talked about women and whiskey. Ah. Hello, what do you want? I want to open an account. Your name? Fenimore Fillmore. Profession? Locksmith. Address? Main Street, Big Town. Right. You'll get your ticket in a week. But I need it now. And I need a drink. Hello. What do you want, Mr. Fillmore? About my brother, Anselmo? Tell me. I, too, have a golden skull. That is impossible. According to Friar Anselmo, the gold skull deposited in my bank is the only one in existence. And a friar never lies. But... Your gold skull must be a cheap imitation. Hey, I... Nevertheless, this bank will accept it. We do not object to forged merchandise. Hello. What do you want, Mr. Fillmore? I would like to ask for credit. What kind of credit?
What kind of credit do you have on offer? It would be better if you didn't know. You might be frightened. Hello. What do you want, Mr. Fillmore? I would like to ask for credit. What kind of credit? Just any old loan. We don't give that kind of credit. My dear sir, in here we take our duties very seriously. Hello. What do you want, Mr. Fillmore? I would like to ask for credit. What kind of credit? That's the best offer I've had. A slimming loan, eh? Well, we could lend you $10 for four years with 500% interest. Okay, I accept. Excuse me, miss. What do you want? You seem like a nice girl. Why do you work here? I'm a dancer, baby. Do you like good-looking guys like me? I like good-looking, sensitive, and modest guys. Which is exactly what you ain't, Buster. Hey, baby. You're sexy. Hey, stop looking at me like that. I'm looking for a guy called Dixon. That name means nothing to me. But wait a minute. What did he look like? He's a mean looking hombre. I need more info. He sounds a bit like Lee Van Cleef. How many eyes has he got? Just one eye. Well, what kind of shoes does he wear? Boots. Oh, yeah. He lives in the next apartment. I've seen him on the balcony. He's always spitting off it. Yep. It nearly hit me. You can't come in, stranger. I want to come in. Sorry, this bar is for real men only, baby face. Who's gonna stop me? Me, Swappy, butthead. Aren't you Swappy Smith? The same. How do you know me? I studied with you at school. I sure don't remember you. Oh, come on. You were the biggest dunce in the class. No, there was a bigger dunce than me, but I can't remember his name. The biggest dunce in the whole of Big Town School. Fenimore Fillmore. I wouldn't be surprised if that was it, but I don't think so. Listen, friend. What do you want, stranger? I remember what the biggest dunce in Big Town School was called. What? Dr. Hengelhofer. He didn't go to school. He learned everything in ten easy lessons. Listen, friend. What do you want, stranger? I remember what the biggest dunce in Big Town School was called. What? Ulysses S. Grant. That name doesn't ring a bell for me. 
Listen, friend. What do you want, stranger? I remember what the biggest dunce in Big Town School was called. What? Albert Einstein. That name doesn't ring a bell for me. Listen, friend. What do you want, stranger? What are you smoking? A free cigar. It smells god-awful, but it tastes okay. Would you give me one? I've only got this one. Listen, friend. What do you want, stranger? I think I remember where I've seen you before. Where? You're the one who shot Liberty Balance. Yes, maybe. I don't remember everyone I've killed. You were unarmed, and he had two pistols. Yeah, sure. You jumped him, then wrestled the pistols from his grasp. Of course, now I remember. He was a man mountain. Like Everest. No, like a mountain, I said. Come on in. At least I'll get some peace and quiet. <laughs>